what would a, a good PR focused CV look like? So on your PR CV, really the things you want to highlight most are any PR experience that you have or any relevant experience. So relevant experience for PR would include uh, any event stuff you might have done. So have you worked at events? Have you been a, wait- a waiter, for example, that kind of thing? Or um, any journalism experience you have. So have you written anything? You had anything published? And it doesn't have to have been paid, pub- paid um, published work either. So it might be that you just write a really brilliant blog. You really want to highlight those things in your CV because those are the skills that the employer is looking for. Um, And then apart from that, obviously your academic achievements, making sure that you list your degree grade and your A-level grade, because if you don't list them, the employer will assume that you've got really poor ones. So you need to make sure that you list them. Um, And um, highlighting anything in your hobby section that would be relevant for the job. So, you know, the fact that you read a range of different newspapers, who your favourite columnist is, for example, or any work experience that you may have done on the local newspaper, any poetry that you have published, anything like that that's relevant to the job is really important. And what would, um, how would you structure a, a covering letter to make sure that it stands out and is actually going to get read? Um, I would always say don't write anything more than a page. The page is absolutely plenty. We um, looked at some employers and we timed some recruiters actually that were reading CVs and how long they looked at each CV. And on average, they were looking at CVs for 30 to 45 seconds and then not looking at cover letters for much longer than that. So you really need to put all the important information first. So what job you're applying for and the reference number if there is one, if you're applying for a specific position or that you're writing on a speculative basis, and then you need to write why they should hire you. So far too often graduates concentrate in their cover letters on why they, what, what would be good for them for working at the company. So if you hire me, I'll get experience in this and it'll be a chance for me to grow my experience and it'll be a chance for me to build on what I've done before. The companies are not interested in what they can do for you. They're interested in what you can do for them. So you need to be saying to them, if you hired me, I would be the eyes of ears of the social media because I'm on it every day and I would be a good asset to the team because I understand what's going on in the world because I have good current affairs knowledge. So highlighting what you bring to their company. You mentioned 30 to 40 seconds uh, per CV. I'm surprised it's that high, actually. I thought they would have, uh, you know, just a quick cursory look, five seconds, and then either yes or no, and next, moving on to the next one. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it is really ruthless. And when you get, graduates often complain to me that they don't hear back from employers when they when they are applying for jobs. But that's because employers are getting, you know, hundreds of applications for every graduate job, and it's just not practical to, to do yep. that kind of admin. And so you, to make yourself stand out from the crowd, you've got to get all the, impo- all the important information in front of the employer as quickly as possible. 